to another GCSE Computer Science video with me, Mr. Goff, for mrgoff.com. This video will focus on database concepts. So, what is a database? A database is an organised permanent store of data. Databases contain one or more tables. Below, you can see just a single table, surrounded by the entire blue box. All of this data represents the member table. Columns in the table are fields. You can see a field highlighted in green here. That field is surname. Fields are things that we hold data about. Each row in a table is a record, that is, all the details for one entry in that table. Outlined in red, you can see the record for Bob Dobolina, which includes his ID, forename, surname, address and email. You can see below it that we have two further records for Fred Jones and for Jim Jackson. There are a number of key pieces of terminology to become familiar with as you study databases. A table is going to be a type of person, object or thing about which data is stored in a database. A record is a single row in a database table and therefore all the data for one entry in that table. A field is a heading or a column under which data is stored in a database table. A primary key is a field that can uniquely identify a record in a table. If we look at our example member table, we can see that forename, surname and address would not work as a primary key because two different members could have the same forename, the same surname or live at the same address. However, ID and email would both be unique. It's more likely in this case that ID would become the primary key. A foreign key is when a primary key from one table is included in another table to create a link between the two tables. This happens in relational databases, which we'll be learning more about in the next video. Let's assume our members table below is actually being used in a database for members of a magazine subscription service. In another table called subscriptions, we could use member ID as a foreign key to create a link between the member and the subscription. That brings us to the end of this very brief introduction to database concepts. Join me again for the next video where we'll be looking at relational databases. Use the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise computer science. And until next time, it's bye for now.